Friday night at Mississauga NABA lightweight champion Logan McGinnis endured the toughest fight of his 16th fight pro career, defending his title against the tough Mexican Daniel Ruiz. McGinnis utilized his inside game with constant shots to the body. Ruiz came to life in round eight with a series of lefts and rights that rocked the champion and cut him above the left eye. In the 10th, Ruiz connected with a huge left to McGinnis, but he weathered the storm and took the fight with a majority decision on scores of 96-94 twice and one having it 95-95. To be totally honest, I felt kind of sluggish in there. Like I couldn't let my punches go, but um, I mean, I, I, I toughed out the win. I mean, I'm going to have to go back and actually sit back and watch the fight and, and tell you what I think. Um, you know, Logan has too much uh, balls for his own good sometimes. Um, he could have made the fight a lot more uh, easier by using the jab and uh, hitting the body, but Logan just likes to fight, and he likes to give the, the crowd a, a thing, and he almost lost it there. You know, I, I, I contemplated stopping the fight, and, it's, you know, it's a very difficult decision for me because I love I love my all my boxers, you know, and I... I almost got hurt. I, well, I got hurt in the ring, so you know you got to realize my heart is in there. But uh, the kid is just—he's just got heart. He's got heart. Uh, he's like a modern-day Arturo Gad. He just has heart. There's no quitting me. I wasn't going to go down. I wasn't going to take a knee. I mean, I could—I could hear some guys in, this, in like from my my camp telling me to take a knee, but uh, that, that wasn't part of my game, you know. And I just—I just kept kept fucking out with him. Featherweights Tyler Asselstein and Leonis Murray Francois collided with Francois scoring a knockdown in the opening round. However, Asselstein slowed the pace with body shots and combinations and would earn the unanimous nod on scores of 58 55 twice and 59 55. I thought alright. I got caught a little earlier on with the. It was a straight right. Straight right. I mean, nothing new to me. Just kept going, got up, and just shook it off, and kept going. Ryan Wagner got back on the winning track, stopping Jeremy Abbott at 145 of the third round by utilizing a superior reach in this three-round brawl. Yeah, well, my corner wanted me to keep going at him. They wanted me to work the body a lot. So once I started working the body, he was bringing his hands down. He was a lot more open for the headshots, and that's when I started taking it to him. But I give that guy a lot of credit. He was taking some hard shots, so that was pretty, pretty good. And Brandon Cook improved to 2-0 with a controversial first-round stoppage at the 144 mark following a right uppercut to Laszlo Haas.